Erica Olson and welcome to Inside SoCal. Here in San Bernardino at Dignity Health St. Bernardine, your physical health is of the utmost importance, but your mental well-being matters too. And their furry little helpers are just what the doctor ordered. Dignity Health and St. Bernardine Medical Center, patient experience is everything. We want to make sure that we've met all their expectations and taken care of them with hello human kindness. Our pet therapy program has been here about a year and we brought in the mini horses first and then we brought the dogs in uh, second and they both really touch our patients and our staff. The therapy animals actually help patients by I think touching them emotionally and so that, that way they sort of forget they're in the hospital in that moment and the fact that here's an animal that they can touch, they can feel, and it makes all the difference in how they feel, which means that they can heal faster and we can do the caring that we're here for. Hi, JJ. Hello, love. Can I give you a kiss? Absolutely. All right. No. Our staff was struggling. I mean, we were in the middle of the pandemic. Things were tough. So we brought the horses in. And those horses brought more smiles than anything you would ever see. I mean, animals are known to decrease blood pressure, decrease stress, but when you watch expressions on employees' faces, it's like amazing. They'll say it's the best day ever. Once they see the horses, you know, it, they kind of just feel, ah, you know, the horses are here. We can take a few minutes to just relax and enjoy them. Here's your old friend. <laughs> Here's your buddy. Our mission is to treat the patient as a whole being, you know, physical and emotional. And the, the, the ponies will take care, I think, mostly of the emotional part of the patient. So it makes them feel part of, part of us, like a family. And the horses are trained. They're trained to understand emotion and what people are going through. They're calming and the patient's just a huge smile. And then the horses were such a big hit that then we brought the dogs. So now we have horses and dogs. Each staff kind of migrates to one of the different dogs and they each have their own calling cards, their business cards. So some of them collect the cards. Aww. So that's kind of fun. That's so charming. And they all wear Dignity Health badges, so they all have their part of our family. The dogs really just, it made my whole day. I'm gonna be happy all day now. It really does bring a smile to their face, particularly, you know, if a patient's been having a hard day and they see one of the dogs or they see the ponies. Uh, it just makes all the difference in the world. In the hospital, sometimes it can be lonely. And you bring the horse or the, po or the dog in, and it's comfort, right? So it decreases your loneliness. It increases your social circle, and our employees absolutely look forward to when they come. Our patients don't know when they're coming, so it's a good day when they come. It brings a smile to everyone's it's, face. Exactly. It treats the nurses and the staff, other than just the nurses, but everybody who comes and sees them walks in. It automatically gives them like a boost of like dopamine and happiness and excitement. And so they're kind of connecting with us on a spiritual and emotional level, which for our mental health is super important. It's been a rough couple days, so I was really looking forward to it. Helps you get through the difficult times, for sure, yeah. When you're taking care of people and you have people that are ill, uh, it really is an emotional challenge for people. And we found that the dogs and the horses just make the greatest difference in the world. Well, hello, human kindness is our mission. And our animals are absolutely part of that mission. It's probably been the most impressive thing we've been able to do to care for our own staff and then to also care for our patients, which is ultimately our goal. Is that how do we get people better physically and emotionally and care for the whole person? At the end of the day, that's all that counts. To learn more about Dignity Health's compassionate programs and their hospitals across the Southland, visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. I'm Erica Olson. We'll be back next Sunday. We'll see you then. Hi, JJ. Inside SoCal is presented by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness.